Hi there, and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with this video. Today I wanted to share a couple different ideas that I have for a junk journal. And when I was looking up like Disney junk journals, I found a whole bunch that use the little golden books. But what they do is they take out and just pretty much gut these beautiful books and then kind of put in all kinds of other pages and it loses the integrity of the book and um, so that just gave me another idea on how to make a, an altered book from one of these so that's going to be coming up in the next video but today I wanted to share this one and this is from Disney's bedtime favorites and it says a uh, treasury of tales on the side here and this book was I, I got it from the thrift store and the reason why I bought it is because it already has the book kind of falling apart. So I bought another Disney book and it had a treasury of tales and the pictures are so beautiful. I couldn't, I couldn't cut them. So I've got issues with that. And this one is really pretty too. It has that silver um, gilded edges. I don't know if you can see them sparkling. So very pretty book. But the nice thing is that it was already kind of trashed. So I didn't have to worry about feeling bad about ripping it up. And down here, I, I kind of flipped through it at the store. And in, I guess someone really loved cars or either they loved cars or they hated cars. I can't figure it out. But most of cars was ripped out too. So it just made me feel much better about being able to take this one apart. So I knew it could be a contender because my problem is I get these books home and then I'm like, Oh, it's so pretty. I really don't want to tear it up. And maybe I can save it for, I don't know, kids at church or whoever. But I don't end up cutting them up and that's just a problem. So this one's not, not too bad. I'll just flip through it real quick. It has a lot of different Disney stories from the classic ones. Cinderella, Snow White. It also has, um, I think it's Jungle Book. Here's Pinocchio and donald duck disney and lilo and stitch bambi so it has a bunch of the classics that i wanted to have in like a golden book and then um so anyway so what i did was i decided to start with the aristocats and the reason why is because it also had a torn page because it bumps up right next to the cars story and so this one's called The Coziest Carriage. So I just kept the first page, but then I took out all the other ones. So it goes from the first page into uh, Sleeping Beauty and Aurora Slumber Party. I did not do a good job ripping up the pages, but it doesn't matter because what I wanted to do with these, especially is to make Disney ephemera. So I did not find many videos that have anything to do with Disney ephemera. I don't know, maybe I wasn't looking right but i thought well you know maybe I, that's a place for me to make something and maybe share some new ideas so the stories only have about five or six pages each which makes it very nice and um it doesn't it doesn't take up too much of your time you're you're really concentrating on the big pieces of art or the little ones that you want to keep so what i did with the aristocats is i started with the biggest page of R and that was this one it's very cute and so I decided you know what I like the art that's in it and so I'm going to go ahead and make an envelope and the way that I did that is I can show you and this is pay no attention to that we're going to fix that because I was working on these late at night while I was watching Twilight Zone and waiting for the new year um, but so some of these are and I just cut these out by hand so you know we're looking at it in the light of day here but what I did was I took an envelope that I had from a thank you card and I just took it apart so you can see the little you know where it was glued together I just took it apart so that it becomes a template for a very nice size junk journal most of my junk journals are you know not not too large I kind of do maybe a half sheet of paper like a half sheet of 8 by 11 size so this is a good size for me to work with but you can use that for um, however you want to do it. These pages 
because you're trying to get most of this, this was, it lent itself really well, as you can see, to using up most of the page. So I just kind of opened up my card, traced around it. And what you can do here is you can either leave this the way it is and use it in the junk journal so that it opens up. You know, you can paper clip it or whatever. You can also put a small area inside to jot down a note. So what I would probably do is put some grid paper or something like that inside. Um, or let me show you what I did with another one. So I made two envelopes. This one was mostly writing, which I really like also because it's kind of on the diagonal. So I like that. And you preserve quite a bit of the story that way too. So there's Scat Cat inside. And then what I did was with another page, I took the image, put a little bit of scrapbook paper behind it that matches, and it's just an index card inside so that you pretty much preserve the story. If you want to, if you don't really care about it, you can kind of do whatever you want. So another idea for junk journaling is actually putting two of the envelopes that you make together and then you can actually you can have that as a junk journal um like a cover if you want or even in the middle of the junk journal so what you would do is really it's very easy so these are the envelopes this is the way they go that's the top part and this is the top part for this one you put one inside the other and you just make sure that you keep the part of the art that you want to show. And I wanted to show this little kitten. So what you would do is glue this one down here, or you can even leave this one since it has some art and maybe just even glue this one that you stuck inside, glue that one inside. Now just be careful so that you know, when you're gluing this stuff, you have it like this and take it out. And then that way you, you keep the pocket, and you don't even have to glue the pocket down, you can even have the recipient be able to open this up and see what's inside. I hope that makes sense. So really what you would be gluing is this section here, and then it'll keep it together. And again, these two envelopes don't really match in size. This one needs to be fixed. And you can easily do that by just kind of seeing where it needs to be fixed. There we go, that's kind of how I work. Well, okay, anyway, so that's one idea with envelopes. So that's that there. I'm going to set that down. Here's another idea. And what I did was I just took one whole page and I'm going to go ahead and take another page out. Let's do cars since they're all messed up. All right. So in the cars, what you're going to do uh, or to make this this little folder pocket is I took a page that had a little bit of art. So on this one, it's, these are, I think what I wanna kinda keep. So what I did with this one is I didn't really even cut all that much. I just took this and you'll see there's quite a bit left up here. So, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is fold this one here Hold it down because you want to have a spot to glue while you are able to make a pocket out of the other piece of it. And yes, some of your writing is going to go upside down like this right here, but we don't worry about that unless, well, I'll show you what I did with this one. Okay, so then I just trimmed the side here and you can use your trimmer or just a handy pair of scissors. Okay. So what I did was I took that and I glued up here. So I'll show you on this one. Oh, you can't even see it. I did such a good job on it. You can't even tell. There's just a tiny bit down here that's glued right there. On this one, I have a lot more room to work with. So you just take your glue stick and I'm just using an Elmer's glue stick. You can use whatever kind you have. People have nicer ones. I think Scotch makes a nicer one, but Elmer works fine for me. And then you fold this over. So you just did a, really just a fold up of the, the paper. 
Okay, so there's your tiny little um, uh, insert, which has two envelopes on it, in it, I should say. And you can use a hole punch to get right here. You got some walking around while I do this. Okay, so I have a hole punch here and you just go like this. I know I probably should have had that ready to go, but you know, I'm not that professional of a video. Okay, and then what I do to match it up is I just kind of close this in so you can see where it's going and just punch that hole. It doesn't have to line up. Oh, wow, that lined up exactly. It does not have to line up exactly. That kind of never happens for me, but and then this is making me crazy because it's not, it's not really glued that well. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's, that's it. That's how you make the little folder. So that's what I did here. And you can see that the writing is upside down in there, just as it's written upside down in here. And I didn't even concern myself about it. I just put a little uh, writing space and then I put a belly down here with some pieces of paper that I kind of tucked in there. And then I took some other paper and since I was doing this in front of TV, I was too lazy to go get my hole punch. So I just kind of cut out this little, little side to have your little, little things in there. And then this one has uh, matching notes, whichever way you want to put that in. So that's just a little envelope here. And I just had a piece of string that I stapled onto a piece of fabric that I stapled onto this card to you know indicate that there's something here you can even tie some more pages in here to make it like a little tiny booklet on the inside of your junk journal but that's just from one page of the disney book so here's my little card one and you know what a cute little birthday card that would make so there's that then i took another page and i did a trifold so this one had this cute little art here here's the page as it really was. I just kind of took the header off and then I folded it up so that this part of the art would stay preserved. And so I just kind of did a tri-fold. And the way I would use that in a junk journal, here's just some pages that I put together in a signature, kind of trying to match some of the pinks in the, in the picture. I would maybe flip to a bigger page and even um, just glue this in so that it opens this way or you can sew it in if you want to keep more of the picture but really it's it's it can be tucked into a junk journal or glued in and then one more actually a couple more things that I did was I took the same idea just taking a full page of art so let me get another one here it's kind of fun because if you have a, a book that you don't really care about where it has really pretty art like this but the pages are already torn out thanks to a little kid then you can do you know kind of play around with it that's what I did I just sat in front of the TV last night and just played around so the way I did this one was because these cats were so cute I wanted to keep that part of it intact so that you could see it down here. I don't even know what it was. And then this just had the writing on the back so it didn't matter. And then I just covered the upside down image with some scrapbook paper and I'll show you my little inserts that I made also. But you just fold this up like this or if you wanna keep this side, then you can fold it up like this. But I kinda of like the writing here so i would probably fold this the same way maybe i would even go a little bit lower so that you can see these two here luigi and i don't remember what the forklift's name was but okay doesn't matter all right so that's how i did this one and so you fold that up and uh, again i put a little piece there i sewed this i just took it over to my sewing machine and stitched it up and then I also put a little, um, like a, I stamped this and 
sewed a piece of fabric here as well. You don't have to sew, you can use glue, and but it just looks cute. And Aristo Catty, Aristo Catfish, I don't know. Okay, and uh, on another page, there was the same um, image as this one, so I just cut the image. In fact, these two were playing together. I think it was like this. And so I tore the image and I put this one here and I made this into a little mini book with a three by five card. So I didn't even decorate the back, but I actually, since I was at the sewing machine, I went ahead and st stitched this up and I put this in here. It doesn't have to go in the same spot, but I thought that was kind of cute because he's there. You can even put the image in a different direction and then you can tuck that in to here and have it be like that. Okay, and then on this side, I just set this one down and this is a tri-fold, so no big mystery to this. And it was again, another image that I cut up. And so the top of this guy, I think is on the inside of the envelope. Let me see. I'm almost positive. Yeah, it is. See, there he is. Ta -da. So I cut his head off and put it inside on a three by five card. And then I just, I hid the rest of the body back here. It sounds very violent. But uh, anyway, so that's just a trifold. I put some paper here and just stitched it here and then some um, just craft paper. And that becomes a tuck. So there's some more ephemera. So that's like an ephemera folder with ephemera in it. And the way I would use this inside my junk journal signature would be probably actually most likely in the middle. So it would get placed right there. And what it does is gives the rest of the signature some, some structure and also, you know, kind of nice spot in the middle to look at. And it's, it's pretty from all sides. So that one would be a really good one to put in here. All right, and then the last thing I wanna show you is again, another three by five card. And I took that other half of the image. I just um, glued down some brown craft paper and I thought the way the image looked, that was kind of cute. And so I just made it into a little tuck spot with just a couple cards and spots to journal. So that one I would glue here or, you know, you can even tuck it inside like a glassine envelope if I can get it in there. There we go. So, you know, maybe, maybe kind of sitting up like that or something along those lines. So I hope that you enjoyed those, but that's several different ephemera made from Disney book pages. And I hope that this inspires you to go out to the thrift store or just even look in your kid's closets and see what's lurking about and if you're like me and you just cannot bear to tear up book pages then um, hopefully this was an inspiration to you that if it's already cut up and torn up most likely people don't really want to buy it it'll go in the trash and you can give it another life so I hope you enjoyed it and until the next video um, happy new year and I hope you have a wonderful 2021 crafting and I hope that you do it alongside of Kitchen Counter Crafts. Till next time, bye!